This video is part 3 of 5 where we will be focusing on the return on investment example. Refer to part 1 of 5 for the project selection theory. You can go to my YouTube channel, type Peter Aramer in the YouTube search and then select the basic project selection technique playlist. The other videos that forms part of this series is part 2 of 5 which is a payback period example, part 4 of 5 which is a net present value example and part 5 of 5 which is an internal rate of return example. Now we start off with a project A and a project B and we have a cash flow for both of the projects. For project A we've got an initial investment of $150 thousand dollars and then we've got a cash flow for year one two three four and five for each year which is the income minus expenses and the same for project b we've got an initial investment of 140 thousand dollars with the cash flow for year one two three four now the total gain or the income for project a is 80,000 plus 55 plus 50 plus 25,000 plus 20,000 which is 230,000 that's our total gain now our average annual profit which is the total gain minus the total outlay divided by the number of years so our average annual profit for project A is $16,000 per year And the return on investment for project A is your average annual profit, which was calculated above, divided by the original investment. And for project A, it's 10.7%. Now for project B, the total gain or the income is 190,000, which is 29,000 plus 41,000 plus 52,000 plus 68,000. And it's 190,000. The average annual profit, is, which is a total gain minus a total outlay divided by the number of years, which is for project B, is four years, is $12,500. And the return on investment is 8.9%. And we will select project A because it has the highest return on investment. Thanks for watching this video. If it was helpful, please like it. Or you can click on the link below to watch some of my other project management related videos. Or you can type Peter Aramayer in the YouTube search to find my YouTube channel.